Hey there. Thank you for watching this clip on finding derivatives. Let's get started. The first one, the variable is on exponents. That says we have to take a natural log. So let's get started. Solution for number one, let's call it a y, is equal to 250, 1.045 for t. So we're going to take 250 over first, okay, equal to 1.045 to the 4t. I'm going to take a natural log on both sides. So natural log of y minus natural log of 250. And the reason I did that is there's a pro pro um, property of natural logs that um, a, b, that's equal to natural log a minus natural log of b. Technically, we should put the parenthesis on absolute value on it. Anyway, so back over here, 4t comes down here, and I have natural log of 1.045, which happens just to be a number. Now, we're going to take a derivative. Derivative of the first one, you do have to recognize you have to use implicit in that derivative of the natural log of y, that's just a 1 over y. Okay? And then since y is a function of t, we have dy dt, which is the y prime. This one goes away, and that's equal to 4t, uh, 4, not a t, 4 times natural log of 1.045. Okay, so we're almost there. Now, uh, multiply by y on both sides, we have y prime, which is this term, equal to y times 4 times natural log of 1.045. Now that's one more step. We're going to put a y back in there. So we have 250 times 1.045 for t times 4 times natural log of 1.045. Okay, you can combine this one. That should give you a thousand on that one. Let's move up a little bit. So again, I substituted a y here. This the whole thing is the y. Okay, and then times 4. Uh, this whole thing is y and times 4 times this one. So that's the y prime. Now let's take a look at number 2. For this one, we have a 2x minus 3, x to the 3 halves. Now this one is not hard. It's a little tedious. So you need to keep track of what you're doing over here. fx equal to this. f prime of x, we're going to take derivative of the first one, which is equal to 2. Okay, that's the easy part. Leave the second part alone, plus leave the first part alone. Take derivative of the second one, which is 3 over 2, x of 3 over 2 minus 1, which is half. Okay, here we're just going to simplify from here. Let's take um, x to the half out. Okay, and then for the first term, I'll have 2 times x to the 1, okay, plus 2x minus 3. We need to multiply by 3 over 2, and that's it. So x to the half, x to the half, I have a 2x plus, let's see, the first term I'm going to have a 3x, and then I have a minus 9 over 2. Um, it's up to you. We can take the half out if you wanted to. So it's half, x to the half. Now this one is 5x, since I took a half out, I would have a 10x over here, okay. minus 9. All right, so that's how we handle fi finding derivatives using property of log, and then we use the property of uh, product. Hope it's clear. Please comment on YouTube uh, and let me know if it's been helpful to you. Hi, this is Dr. Pan, host of Tucson Math Doc channel on YouTube. Subscribe this channel to have more math answers. Together, we can make math fun again. Till next time, have a confident day.